Hi, I'm Philip Yancey, and I want to introduce you to a new book published by Hutter and Stoughton, and it's called Where the Light Fell. It's a memoir, unlike any book I've done. The title comes from St. Augustine, who said he wasn't able to look at the sun directly, but he could look on where the light fell. And that's my story too. I was scorched by the sun early on. I grew up in a Southern fundamentalist church, the likes of which you probably don't have in the UK. I hope not anyway. And it took me quite a while to recover from that church experience. I know there are a lot of people in the UK who grew up in church and just decided it's not for them. And not that many people go to church, but when a pandemic happens, as is going on now, when a crisis happens, people want to know where can I turn. Writing a memoir is like doing a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle with no picture on the cover. So you can't see what's happening except piece by piece, finding how they fit together. And then after the whole thing's done, you realize, oh, this is who I am. And that was my experience. It took me three years, far longer than any book I've written before. And at the end, it became clear to me why I tend to write about the same themes. I consider it kind of a prequel to the books I've written on grace and Jesus and prayer and other topics. I tend to write about suffering and about grace. And if you read my family story, you'll know why. There was a lot of suffering involved early on, beginning with my father's death from polio when I was just a year old. And there wasn't a lot of grace going on. So when I first encountered God's grace and realized that the heart of the universe is a smile, not a frown, oh, did that grace taste good, that first gulp. And I've tried to express that in my writings. This is different. It's not an idea-driven book. It's a story-driven book. It's my story of surviving a childhood church that was pretty hard to survive. People tell me their church stories and I often just sit back and laugh and say, oh, it's, it's much worse than that. <laughs> Let me tell you mine. And yet I learned, I learned that don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Don't forfeit the opportunity to connect with the God of the universe who made this planet, who made us because God wanted to show love toward us. That's the message that has transformed my life. And I hope you find something in this book, Where the Light Fell, to give you inspiration, hope, and comfort in a time in history that is pretty dark. Thank you. I, I wish I could be to the UK in person to introduce this book, but of course that's impossible right now. But I hope to catch up with you someday.